Hello students, welcome back to the 8th video of this playlist. In this video, uh, we will be solving question number 8 from the most recent past paper of Pure Mathematics 4, which is October 2024, P4 paper. So let's see uh, what's the question number 8 from this paper is about. Okay, so this is question number 9. Okay, here you go. Question number 8. So basically the concepts behind question number 9, question number 8, it's from vectors. So vectors has been discussed in the very last chapter of your Pure Mathematics 4 textbook, which is chapter number 7. So we need concepts from chapter number 7 in order to solve this question. So let's get started with question number 8. So number 8 says relative to a fixed origin O, the point A has coordinates negative 10, 5, negative 4. X, Y, and Z coordinate are given. Uh, the point B has coordinates negative 6, 4, negative 1. Okay, same goes for point B, X, Y, and Z coordinate is given. Okay, the straight line L1 passes through A and B. Fine. So, part A is asking here to find a vector equation for line L1. So, we need to find out an equation for, vector equation for line L1. So, we know that vector equation is what? R is equals to what? R naught plus lambda times what? Lambda times consider P. Where? P is basically the direction, that is the parallel, the direction along which the line passes through. Okay. Uh, this direction is basically a parallel direction. We consider this as parallel direction. And R0 is basically the initial point. So, initial point, we can consider it passes through point A. Okay. And the parallel direction. So, for finding the parallel direction, we can, we have to find out the vector AB. Okay. So, for part A, at first, we will aim at finding AB. Okay. Because direction is from A to B, isn't it? So, AB is what? A negative 6, 4, negative 1. Let me write it, it in column vector form. Negative, negative 6, uh, 4, negative 1. Okay. This is what? The coordinates of point B using vector addition rule. OB minus OA. OA is what? Negative 10, 5, and what? Negative 4. Okay. So, what you will get? Negative 6 plus 10, which is 4. 4 minus 5, this is negative 1. And negative 1 plus 4, that is basically plus 3, positive 3. We got the vector AB. Done. So, now we can find out the equation, right? So, equation of line L, R of L, this is equals to initial point is what? Point A, right? R0. So, negative 10, 5, negative 4. We have this on just at the top, negative 10, 5, 4, the z coordinate is 4, so r naught plus what lambda times the parallel vector which is 4 minus 1, 3. That's it. That's the equation, the vector equation for line L, L1. Okay, isn't it L1? Okay, it's for L1, so r of L1. And that's the answer for part A. Fine. Okay, next is part B. In part B, the question says the line L2 has equation. The line L2, it is another line. So its vector equation is given as R equals to what? 3i plus pj plus qk plus mu times what? 3i minus 4j plus k. Okay. Where P and Q are constants and mu is a scalar, what? Parameter. Okay. So, given that line L1 and L2 intersect at where? B. So, we already know the coordinates of point B. It's given in the question. So, part B is asking here to find the value of P and the value of what? Q. So, 
since point B lies on line L2, that means the coordinates of point B, it will what? Follow the equation of line what? L2. Right? So, since point B lies on line L1, L2, so that means I, com I component of line L2, that is 3 plus 3 mu, it will be equal to the what? I component of point B, right? So, what we can say? At B, okay? 3 plus 3 mu, this is basically the I component of, la of line L2. This is equals to I component of point B. What is this? Negative 6, okay? Negative 6, okay? So, mu equals to what? Mu equals to negative 9 over 3, which is negative 3. We got the value for mu. Again, the since I component is equals to I component, so J component will be equal to what? The J component. So J component of line L2, it is what? P minus 4 mu. So what we can write? Uh, we can say again, what? P minus 4 mu. So minus 4 mu means minus 4 times minus 3, which is P plus 12. It is equals to the uh, J component of point B, which is just 4. Okay? So, the value for P, it is what? Negative 8. Done. We got the value for P. And at last, what we can say? The K component. Okay? So, K component of line L2, it is what? Q plus mu. So, Q plus mu, it is, uh, Q plus mu is what? Q minus 3, isn't it? So, Q minus 3, it is equals to the K component of, of point B, it is negative 1. So, negative 1. So, the value for Q, you will get here, negative 1 plus 3, which is just 2. That's it. We got the value for P and the value for Q. And that's what part B has asked for. Next is part C. In part C, the question says the acute angle between L1 and L2 is theta. Okay, fine. So, part C is asking to find the exact value of what? Cos theta. Okay. So, to find out the exact value of cos theta, what we need to use? We need to use the vector dot product. Okay. So, according to vector dot product, the angle, to find out the angle between line L1 and L2, if you consider, line L1 goes like this, L2 goes like this. So, they are meeting each other at where? At point B. And this is basically the angle theta. Right? So, okay. So, point B is known to us. Okay. So, cos theta. Let's use the vector dot product. Okay. So, for part C cos theta would be equal to what? cos theta would be equal to the parallel component. So, parallel component of line L1 dot the parallel component of line L2. So, what's the parallel component of line L1? It is 4 minus 1, 3. 4 minus 1, 3. Okay, column vector, it's dot what? The parallel component of line L2, which is 3 minus 4, 1. 3 minus 4, 1. Okay, divide what? Their magnitudes. So, what's the magnitude of the first parallel component? It is what? Uh, 4 squared is 16 plus 1 plus 9 times what square root of the magnitude of this parallel component is what 9 plus 16 times what oh sorry plus 1 plus 1 okay so we need the exact value for cos theta so cos theta it's what 4 times 3 dot uh, dot product isn't it so i component times i component j component times j component and k component times k component so, 4 times 3 is what? 12 
minus 1 times minus 4 this is what plus 4 plus 3 times 1 which is 3 okay so 16 plus 1 it is 17 17 plus 9 it is square root of 26 times 9 plus 1 which is 10 square root of 26 okay so the exact value for cos theta would be 16 19 over what 26 this is the exact value of cos theta we got it using what the vector dot product because the angle between the two lines l1 and l2 it is what theta so we can use easily the vector dot product that's it that's the end of part c okay next is part d in part d the question says given that the point c lies on l2 such that ac is perpendicular to what l2 okay so point c lies on line l2 so consider this as line l1 and this as line l2 okay so point c lies on line l2 and point a lies on line l1 so consider uh, this is point what a which is lying on line l1 and it should be before point b because a point a we considered initial point of line l1 okay so uh, point c lies on l2 such that ac is perpendicular to what l2 so let's uh, draw a perpendicular look this you can say perpendicular right okay this is point c you can say this is basically point c and this angle is what perpendicular isn't it so ac is what perpendicular to line l2 fine so part d is asking here to find the exact length of ac giving your answer as what third okay so we need to find out the exact length of ac so in order to find out the exact length of ac what we can do is that we can use a trigonometric ratio because we know the value of cos theta isn't it we got it from part c so if you if you use cos theta okay we need the length of ac so cos theta is basically this one right this is the theta okay so this theta and that theta is equal why because these are what uh, just alter just opposite angles isn't it so this theta and the theta here it's uh, very small so real difficult to show the theta on this side basically it's what equal so we know cos theta okay we know the, we know the value for cos theta now we need the length of ac in that case we need to know the length of ab right so just find out the length of ab okay so at first uh, if i if i if i draw the figure it will be exactly like as this uh, this is ac okay and this is point b this is theta this is point b this is c and this is a so we need to find out the length of ab okay so for part c length of ab okay length of ab would be what uh, uh, square root of check it out from a part a we got ab there 4 minus 1 3 okay 4 minus 1 3 so 4 squared plus 1 squared plus 3 squared so 16 plus 1 plus what 9 this is square root of 26 units okay now we got the length of ab now we need to find out the length of ac so we can use sine theta isn't it so we know the value of cos theta <coughs> so sine theta it is equals to what it is equals to ac length of ac over what 
the hypotenuse which is square root of 26 which is basically AB it is square root of 26 so we need the length of AC right so AC modulus that should be square root of 26 times what use the formulas what sin theta equals to what square root of 1 minus cos squared theta 1 minus what cos squared theta so cos theta was 19 over 26 so it will be 19 over 26 whole squared okay so what would be the value there let's calculate 19 over 26 whole squared then 1 minus the answer this is 315 over 676 square root the answer you will get what you will get basically uh, square root of 26 into 3 square root of 35 over what 26 okay so if you multiply it with square root of 26 you are getting 3 square root of 910 divide what 910 divide just 26 that much units and that's what part C of question of part D the last part of question number 8 has asked for